pectoralis. Now we're isolating the pectoral muscle, leaving our shoulder and our triceps out of the movement. We're also gonna consider this a pre-exhaust so that our next press will be more effective because we're gonna pump a bunch of blood. We're gonna get a little bit more pre-exhaust before we do a high reps on our next chest movement. We're gonna go straight across today. It's gonna be a little bit more upper chest, upper to mid chest. Every angle is important and useful. You can go low to high for upper chest, you can go high to low for lower chest. Today, we're just gonna go straight across because it tends to be the one I feel and like the most. But all the variations can be useful. All right, so I'm gonna grab my handles. I'm gonna sit here on my bench. The first thing I'm gonna create is my big thoracic arch, my gorilla chest. We're going back to that again. My start position is here. They go into the stretch. I'm gonna increase elbow bend slightly. All the way back, about parallel with the torso. We want a deep stretch here. As I come out of the stretch, I'm gonna decrease elbow bend. So then almost completely straight arm at the end here. Okay, so into the stretch, increase elbow bend. Coming out of the stretch, decrease elbow bend. I wanna mash my biceps on the side of my chest in the middle here. Boom, mash bicep side of chest. Nice and deep stretch, mash bicep side of chest. So I'm trying to increase cleavage here by mashing everything together. Basically doing a bear hug in the center. Hey guys, this is Falconer Fitness. Welcome to my channel.